guys! Today we're really excited because we're going to try this place called Cornish Pasty and it was recommended by one of you guys. Um, it, I think the name was SF Dance Ron One. Hopefully I said that right. So thank you very much for your suggestion. Um, I don't know about you, but I love like shepherd's pie and empanadas and uh, beef wellington and this is kind of like that because it's like pastry type bread and then it's filled with stuff and so what did you order today i got the chicken pot pie and i had a tough time choosing because a lot of the empanadas had like onions they're not empanadas what? they're pasties <laughs> A lot of them had like onions and just like stuff I don't necessarily like. And even though it's like cooked, I feel like the onions wouldn't be cooked enough where I could like stand taste the taste of it. So I figured the chicken pot pie was like the best option. It does have celery, which I'm not, I don't really like celery, but. But you like chicken pot pie. Yeah, I like chicken pot pie and the celery and chicken pot pie is usually not like that fragrant. So I think it'll be okay. I'm hoping it'll be okay. But I do really like chicken pot pie. So I'm. that's also the, another reason I got it. It just... I and love since we've never been here before, I don't know if we're like able to customize them. Like if we said like without onions. So maybe next time we go, we can ask. Mm, I feel like probably, I feel like they're probably the like... The things are already like pre-made. Oh, I was thinking that they're pre-made, like the whole thing is oh, like... Oh, and they just like put it in the oven. Yeah, like yeah. maybe they're froze, like they free, they prepare them, freeze them, and then like... I don't think that they'd be frozen. Or they put them in the fridge. Like yeah. preserve them, like pre-made, and then once you order it, then they put it in the oven to cook or whatever. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. That's... I mean, we might be able to ask them to like make it without onions or something next time. Oh, I guess if someone has an allergy, maybe. Yeah. This place was really cool, though. It looked like a really great hangout. Um, it had, like, a bar lounge area in the back. You'll see in the video. Um, it was, they had tables, and then on one side, there was, like, a, there was, like, one or two pool tables. And then they, like, had these, like, seating, this, these tables that, that look like pews from a church. Um, I just thought it was really cool. And it's, like, in downtown Las Vegas. Uh, a few minutes from the strip. Um, oh, far. Yeah, the food, the food has been sitting for a little while because I did get stuck in traffic. So I would say altogether, it's probably been sitting for like 40 minutes. So I'm really hoping that the inside is still like a little bit warm and it still <laughs> tastes good. The outside was warm. Yeah, so we'll see when we cut into it. But I'm really excited because these look really big and they look, they just, the bread looks so yummy. I think my favorite part will be the outside. <laughs> Probably. I ordered uh, the traditional pasty. It's called the agi, and it has like steak and onions and um, what else did it have? Potatoes. Potatoes and carrots. No. no, not carrots. It had something else in it. Um, I'll have to put the description on the screen because. I can't remember everything, but I figured it's the traditional um, one, so I wanted to try it. And I like steak, so. I was thinking about that getting that one, but since it has onions. And then they have the red wine sauce, and I'm not really sure what this yellow sauce is, but then we also got a half order of salad. This is actually a pretty good sized salad. And then it came with like some dressing that looks kind of like, oh, it smells like pesto. So I think it's pesto. Tastes like chicken pot pie. Mm. This reminds me of like a fancier shepherd's pie. Does this one taste like chicken pot pie? Mm. You can't even taste the onions in this one. Let me try yours. 
It's so soggy. I like because it's been sitting. I know. Oh. That's really good. I think that tastes even better than this one. There's so much celery. I think that's why I like it because I like celery. It does taste very celery. -y. Mine kind of fell apart, and all I see is celery bits. I'm wondering what this yellow sauce is. Hmm. Can't tell what the yellow one is. The red wine sauce is really good though. This is so huge. It's like definitely enough for two meals. I can't eat all this in one sitting. I would just eat the crust. <laughs> I'm going to try the salad too. So we actually have salad at home, but the reason why I ordered salad from them is because I wanted to see how fresh it was and how well the lettuce holds up in the bag um, with all this warm food sitting next to it. But the salad dressing looks really good. Mm. The salad is good. It still tastes fresh, and the salad dressing is really good. It's got like tomatoes, cucumbers, onions. Does chicken pot pie usually have peas? Mm -hmm. okay. Why? I just don't remember. I feel like the peas kind of ruin it. And I like peas. I think not like this though. I think that was the one thing in chicken pot pie that I don't like are the peas because I don't like peas. Mm -hmm. The crust. I'm going to try this. I just got bread and steak. Mm. And it has a little bit of the red wine sauce. It's good, huh? If it was just that and like the potatoes, I would like that. There's got to be a way that they can like make it without. I'm sure that they probably have like some dough made and then the filling made, but they might be able to like take out the onions or make it without the onions. Because like you said, if people have allergies, how are they supposed to order? You know? Mm -hmm. I really like this salad. I'm going to try the salad. Can you taste that and see what you think that tastes like? Oh yeah, I don't like that green sauce. It's pesto. It's good. It looks like mustard, but it doesn't taste like mustard. It's a flavor I've had before, I just can't, mm -hmm. like, think. Yeah, it tastes familiar, but I can't really tell. I'm going to have to look it up. I don't really like it, but it's just, I know I've had that. That flavor? Some, yeah, something like that before.
it was interesting too. Usually when you order salad, they'll ask you like what kind of salad dressing. And they never asked me. So I was like wondering like, oh, maybe they just have like a standard like oil and vinegar or Italian or something like that. And then they just have the pesto in there, but I really like the pesto. I'll eat all your salary. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed on the menu, they had like a lot of choices, but they also had like tiki masala and, and lamb vindaloo. Like in these? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, they had like all kinds of different ones. Is that like on the special menu? Um because I only looked at the um like the main I forgot what they called it. It might be it might be like special or something like that, but if you go on the website there's like three sections of stuff that you can order. Yeah I only looked at the first section. And I would have ordered like a lamb vindaloo because I, I really like lamb vindaloo, but for this I wanted to like taste what the traditional ones tasted like. Next time, you know, if we go back, then I definitely would venture out and order something a little different, like uh, maybe the tiki masala or something. But yeah, I was really surprised how many choices. It took me like... Um, kind of all day looking at the menu here and there to try to finally decide what I wanted to order. I just was like, what doesn't have onion? <laughs> I'm telling you, we should have asked if, if they could make it without onions. If, I'm thinking that they probably could have. Mm. But you could literally put like anything in this bread and it would be good. This bread is so good. Or just the bread. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if they sell it like that, but... Mm. I would like that. This sauce is good. I mean, you had it with the bite that you took of this one. I couldn't really taste it. Mm, it's okay. It kind of tastes like it should go on salad. No. I love celery. It's good for you. But they did put quite a lot of celery in there. I thought there would be more peas and carrots. Yeah, that's, that's there was, what usually like chicken pot pie is. There's more celery than anything else. Yeah, I think there might be more celery than chicken. Well, celery is cheaper. <laughs> Potatoes go in chicken pot pie, right? Mm -hmm. There's potatoes in there. I know. I just couldn't remember. I think that chicken pot pie, if they had like some extra gravy that they could give you on the side and you can pour it on top, I think that would be really good. Mm -hmm. Like the chicken pot pie gravy. Mm -hmm. The bread. I'm almost scared to ask you, ask you, so how would you rate the food here? <laughs> mm. Durability? Like a... Seven? I think? Because it wasn't... It wasn't warm enough. I mean, it was kind of a long time, but it wasn't warm enough. And the crust is definitely a little soggy, but I still, I still like it. And then the taste, maybe If it 
if we're just going based on bread, 11 out of 10. <laughs> She's like 20. But as a whole, like a 6, maybe 6.5. If there was less celery, 6.5. So I think yours might have been more soggy because it had like that chicken pot pie gravy oh, in it. Oh, yeah. Because mine wasn't really soggy at all. Well, the top's not going to be soggy. It's going to be the bottom. But even my bottom is still like crunchy. Oh. Yeah, yours was actually pretty oh, it's, good. It's squishy. Yeah. For me, I think for taste and flavor, I would give it... I think I'd give it an E. And then um, I think it actually held up really well. And this is something that doesn't have to be piping hot to be good. And so surprisingly, I think I would give I think I would give it like a 9.5. Because this is something like you don't need a plate even. You can just like it comes in, you know, the wrapping. You could just actually eat it um, in the wrapping. Mine's not cooked hand. enough. The inside is doughy. Oh, maybe that's why yours is soggier. Look, it's like that's not mm -hmm. the texture it should well, be. Well, unless it got soggy because of the gravy. Nobody, it like tastes <laughs> doughy. Oh, so maybe if you threw that in the toaster oven, it probably would be better. Yeah, and like when you pull it apart. Oh, that's straight dough. Yeah, so it needed to be cooked a little bit longer. And this is the thickest part, so it makes sense. But yeah, yeah see, like when I pull it apart, it's like just dough. You totally cut me off. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were done. So yeah, I would give it a 9.5 just because I think it tasted fine the way it was, even though it wasn't hot. It was still like lukewarm. And I think something like this, it tastes perfectly fine that way. It's something really easy to eat, or you could like eat it like a sandwich. You could just hold it. You don't even need a fork and knife. And I really liked it. Um, and the bread, like she said, the bread was amazing. The best part. So I think for you, it's a matter of finding the right filling because you really like the bread. You just need to find the filling that you would really like. And in this situation, like, I don't think you could taste the onions really in mine, but you can really taste the celery in yours. So mm -hmm. you, you would have been better off having something like but this. But it looked like there was a lot of onion. I don't think so. But, like, the onions you can kind of pick out. There was actually a lot of potatoes and beef in here. So mine had, like, steak in it. And um, that's another reason why I picked this, because they had something that was, like, shepherd's pie. I don't know if it was called shepherd's pie, but it had, like, ground beef. And I prefer steak, and so that's why I ordered this one. Um, I did want to try the lamb one, but the lamb had mint in it, um, so I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want the mint, but I really wanted to try their traditional first before I try any of the other ones. So I'm glad I picked this one. I really liked it. The steak was good. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, you can tell, like, mine's not as brown as <laughs> Yeah, ours. so yours is probably, like, a little bit undercooked. Yeah, like, this is, like, just squishy. But like say tomorrow you can throw that in the toaster oven and then it'll cook more and then it won't be overcooked because it's right undercooked right now. Mm -hmm. So it'll be perfect tomorrow. And I really enjoyed the salad. The leaves, some of the lettuce wasn't that fresh, like some of the lettuce looks like it's turning red, but it was still crunchy and pretty fresh and the salad dressing was really good. So I really did enjoy the salad too. The price for this wasn't like really cheap, but it wasn't overly expensive. So I think the chicken pot pie was like 17 1750. 17 Mine was 16 even though it was steak, for some reason it was less expensive. The half order of salad was $8. So I mean, it's still, I think, decently priced because it is going to be two meals for us. I can't finish the salad and I'm not going to be able to finish the other half of this. So I think all in all, it was still a good deal. Yeah, when I saw the prices, I was like $17 for that. But it's it, pretty big. It is big, but I still think it's a little... Like, I don't think I would pay for it. Like, like on any given day. I would. I think it was worth it. I think also I just don't like the filling enough to justify the price. 
That's why I'm saying next time I think you should try something different. But let us know what places you want us to try for takeout. Um, one of the places I was thinking that would be kind of a challenge is fish and chips. I feel like fish and chips wouldn't hold up, but mm -hmm. it'd be fun to find a place that could. Maybe somewhere like um, Ramsey's Fish and Chips. That's so so our camera just overheated, so I'm using my phone to finish this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We, I, I don't know. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed the bread. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.